Dai's Iguotic celebrates this year's 420 with a Cheech and Chong sequel project Alpha released by telling the story of the iconic duo Cheech Moran and Tommy Chong, second movie Cheech and Chong's next movie. This is the first time that Dai's Iguotic presents a mismatched pair of shoes built and designed using different materials. This release featured a similar color scheme for each of the shoes having various elements belonging to the outfits worn by Cheech and Chong in their second movie. A short film was to be premiered alongside the release, but shooting was cut short as Ellis County's finest, the Santa Monica Beach Patrol, arrived on set. False allegations of littering came flying from the officers, and the production was shut down and the footage was seized, never to be seen again. Alright, so for those of you that don't know about Cheech and Chong, uh, pretty much Cheech and Chong is a Canadian comedy duo founded in Vancouver and consists of Cheech Moran and Tommy Chong. The duo found commercial and cultural success in the 1970s um, through the 1980s for their stand-up routines, studio recording, and feature films, which were based on the hippie and free love era and especially drug uh, counterculture movements, mostly known for their cannabis. Um, so... Let's get into the shoe breakdown and we'll pretty much go over all the little details and everything that we need to know about the shoe itself. All right, so for those of you that have not heard about Dizagotic, pretty much is an upcoming shoe brand. Um, they have released their fourth installment of shoes. This is going to be their fourth one. They did release uh, two pairs of um i'm not sure exactly when they dropped but they have released two pairs previous and then last year they released another uh cheech and chonk shoe which i'll leave a picture for those in the top right corner um that one was pretty dope i actually tried to get my hands on those but pretty much sold out pretty quick but uh it consists of a yellow shoe on the left side i believe and a blue shoe on the right side uh pretty much resembling cheech and chong and their outfits throughout the movie uh, so going over the box details itself, as you can see, there are butterfly wings up front. And if you're paying close attention, you see that there's two different styles. So one is more of like a detailed look into the butterfly wing. And then this one is more of a plain look. So that Zygotic like pretty much stands for the same but different. Um, and that pretty much transitions throughout the whole box and the shoe itself. Um, so as you can see, you have more of that detailed look on that side. And then on the other side, it's pretty much a plain style design. You have Dizygotic branding on the box itself. Um, so going over the model of the shoe, it's going to be PA221211. Pretty much I went with uh, my true to size fit, which is a size 12. So this is my first time actually getting this shoe. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to fit. Um, I kind of just pulled the trigger. Um... So they might fit snug, they might fit perfect. Uh, I'll let you guys know when I do get ready to try the shoes on. So opening up the box itself, which is pretty dope, splits right down the middle. Uh, I already put the shoes out, so um, you do get um, two pair of laces. So you have the standard rope laces that come inside the shoe itself, and then you get a lace option, which is pretty much white, with the uh, Dizygotic branding on the lace tips itself with that 3M reflective material and then next you get another rope style blue and white lace uh, with dizygotic branding same thing on the lace tips um, and then on one side you have the checkers and the other side you have the bandana which pretty much represents Cheech and Chong uh, you have this pin right here that comes with the shoe itself and we'll pretty much talk about that later on in the shoe breakdown so Let's put these aside. So let's go over some little bit of information. So the shoe did drop uh, June 1st. Um, retail price was 267 With shipping and everything came out to $286. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, so they do give you like this little cool... Um, paper card that comes in this envelope which is pretty dope uh, so it's just like the little things and then they do give you this card of Cheech and Tommy Chong um, and pretty much this picture right here is going to be which transfers over to this shoe uh, so I'll be going over more of the outfits in this uh, picture which pretty much, like I said, transitions over to the shoe. The shoe itself, the color is going to be a cobalt blue slash hemp brown. Um, 
So the mud guards are designed with Cheech's blue dotted shirt and Tommy's bandana with the exact same pattern as the ones that they wore in the original film in 1980. So on this right side of the shoe itself, you have the bandana on that front toe guard. And then on the opposite side, you have this polka dot material on the front toe guard itself. Uh, next, the hills are made of the fox sheepskin and the corduroys showcase Tommy Chong's sheepskin vest and Cheech Moran's bandana in the movie. Uh, I mean, in beanie in the movie with Cheech and Chong's embroidered in the center. So this is pretty much what they're talking about. On the back, you have uh, Tommy Chong's uh, sheepskin vest and it has a great soft material. You have the embroidered right there on the back. And then on the opposite side, you have this corduroy with Chong's pretty much face in the back. So that's pretty dope. Little details, man. Uh, the real horse hair is used to reflect Cheech's second character, Cousin Red, uh, gray animal skin coat, and red uh, wild looking hair. Cousin's red turquoise jewelry is invoked by the inconclusion of the brochet. So that's pretty much what that little pin was that I showed you. Uh, and then going back to the Cheech shoe, you have this horsehair like material on the side panels of the shoe itself. So a wash denim material is uh, implemented across the right shoe to pay tribute to Tommy's classic denim worn throughout the movie. So on the right side, you have Tommy's shoe, which pretty much has like this rough style denim on both sides, pretty much paying tribute to him. Um, and then also, you have the velvet shoe lining, which demonstrates a symbolic uh, fluffy car dashboard and the red curtains from the van in the movie. So on the inside, you got this red velvet sock liner. Same thing on this side, that red velvet sock liner. See if that picks up. Uh, the insoles are printed with Cheech and Chong's famous lowrider van decal with a dual gain more respect by changing their original copycat productions into a warrior angel in the movie. A kind message said to friends, and breathing alike and printed across both insoles. Uh, another thing is a pair of Ain't That a Peach napkin cloths inserts which are inspired by one of the funniest magic scenes performed by the duo is included in the shoe itself. So going more over the detail itself, you do have that, how you have that fur on the back, you got it on the side two of the shoe. And then, I don't know, uh, you also get that denim Your eyelids pretty much is going to be a dark blue color. You have this blue suede perforated up front on that toe box area with Cheech and Chong running across uh, down the middle. Your tongue itself is going to be a mesh tongue and then you do get this leather branding dizygotic uh, print on the top portion. And then you do get that velvet inside. Let me see if that picks up. You get the velvet uh, inside portion of the tongue itself. You have these beautiful brown rope laces with dizygotic branding on the lace tips itself. Um, and then the midsole itself is going to be a vibrant uh, midsole. And then the bottom, you pretty much have the vibrant um, bottom, which is going to be this gum uh, bottom. Pretty much all ties together. Then on this side, remember how you have that horse hair? Pretty much uh, the butterfly logo is going to be this horse hair brown finish also. Uh, same thing, you got that perforated suede in that blue finish with Cheech and Chong. Um, running up, matter of fact, it says Cheech right here. And then Chong on this one, on this side. So that's pretty dope. Like I said, little details that I'm catching up with. Um, you have this mesh um, tongue, which transitions to the top in this leather embroidered finish, which has Cheech and Chong 
on this right side of the shoe itself. Um, another thing too, you have the D uh, for Daisai and then the Z for Gothic um, and this gold finish and then you have the blue finish. Let's see if that picks up. But yeah, it's pretty dope, man. Like I said, little details like that. Um, I don't mind paying extra for. You have uh, leather right here on this back and portion of the shoe with more of this blue suede finish. Um, see, I'm still trying to see if there's anything else. Let's pull these out. So this is that Nacken um, insole. Um, that they were kind of pretty much talking about. Ain't that a peach? So that's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, you pretty much remove that and you have yourself a napkin itself. So that's pretty dope, man. Little, little stuff like that. So as far as the insole, um, this is that painting that they were talking about that's on their van. And then on this side, you have the copycat productions um hollywood california bendeja <laughs> if you guys know what that means you guys know what that means i know what it means but yeah um but yeah it's pretty dope man so it's just like little little things um that make the shoe stand out one two um makes it worth paying for like i said i'd rather pay for quality uh type shoe versus you know a shoe that's high up there that doesn't come with the quality um also at the bottom once you take the insoles out you have the butterfly branding and then on the right side you have the dizygotic print so like i said man it's just a little thing so i'm gonna go ahead and try these on enough talking try these on that you guys see how they look on feet and then we'll pretty much go from there not allowed on any flight and federal law prohibits tampering, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. So as far as executing on the design, Dizygotic did their thing, man. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Uh, no panel did not go untouched. Everything is pretty much well executed material-wise. Um, the only issue I ran into was the sizing. So I noticed um, these are a size 12, which is my true to size fit in uh, any particular shoe. Um, the only thing I've kind of didn't like was the toe box is pretty much narrow on these uh and i am flat foot so it kind of gave me one of those like snug toe box uh feel um i kind of like room in my toe box so you know next time i'll definitely go up half a size but that also could fall short to that the shoe is brand new so maybe i have to break it in um that's pretty much my only downside. So it's not definitely a shoe I cannot uh, wear like all day. But um, yeah, as far as that man, that like I said, that's the only downside. There's everything is well executed from the box to the shoe itself, the story behind the shoe. Like can't can't go wrong. Um, these are currently on Dizygotics website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, majority of the sizes are pretty much sold out, but they are there are some uh, sizes still floating around. So if you guys are interested in purchasing these, I'll leave a link in the description down below. That way you guys can also check out their website. I know their previous shoes that they came out with, they have uh, still some sizes laying around. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps me out, um, being that I know what kind of content you guys like. Um, but like I said, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me. My Instagram is VIPLS underscore 430. I appreciate the support. Uh, till next time, you guys stay safe out there. Much love.